Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, I liken to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom on, right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So black Christians, man, black Christians. So look at this. So I just, all I did was posted an article. I post articles. And so later on, maybe the spirit will hit me, Lord willing, I go back and I do a lesson on it. So I posted this one, a study on um black christians lead in the way right and so look what twitter put this the, the new shit that they doing so they they blocked it see how they blocked it where it can't i nobody could really comment on it nobody could put a put a heart on it look can't even heart it look why can't you like this this tweet i ain't i just posted an article but let's let's look at the article though Let's look at the article. Coon, Christians ain't nothing but coons, man. They ain't nothing but spiritual. They, they ain't nothing but coons, man. That's all they are, man. And so you read the article, they go on and study shows how crit, black Christians are leading the way. Yeah, leading the way to uphold white supremacy. Cause you type in you type in a picture of Jesus, you gonna get you gonna see what you get. You type in a picture. The, the, the matter of fact, let's do it. Uh, no, we gonna let's let's. I want to I want to show y'all something in here. First, is African Americans are more likely to attend church, but it's all the way down here. They give you the percentages of this and this and that. Where is it at? Starting right here. Religion has been uh, important. Remember now the, the whole concept of 501c3. 501c3 is an agreement with this government to, to co-sign everything that they do and not speak against it uh, um, if the scriptures is against it. You have to co-sign it. Now watch this. Religion has been an important source of resiliency for many racial and ethnic minority populations, they wrote, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? Look, in black communities, religion and the church serve many functions above and beyond spiritual sustenance. In black communities, religion and the church serve many functions above and beyond spiritual sustenance. That's what the, the church is supposed to do. It's supposed to be teaching you the scriptures. But it's not. It's supporting. It's through the Bible, through Christianity. It's supporting what the government pushes in exchange for monetary compensation. This is what's going on. Historically and contemp 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 contemporaneously contemporaneously <laughs> historically and contemporaneously the black church in addition to being a religious institution is a social cultural think about the LBGT community a cultural civic education they pretty much wiping out slavery and all that. If they pushing that or whatever, you see one body is in line with that 501c3 Israelite group. Oh, well, slavery, you know, it was kind of beneficial to us. And we came over here voluntarily and got on the slave ships and all of that stuff like that. Matter of fact, he said it wasn't no slave ships. So how we got over here? Planes, airplanes in the 1700s. But anyway, 1600s. And political institutions that are sent that is central to black communities because of social LBGT community, economic 501c3, 
and institutional franchise, man. Let us be a part of your American society. Black Americans have traditionally had difficulty accessing public and private services. As a result, black churches tend to offer a greater number of community programs. Hey, we didn't they didn't they set up the, for the hokey pokey when they came out with the potion? Then wasn't they up there put T D Jakes? All of the different, you know, even the church in my the the the, the pastor next door, the reverend next door. Well, I could get you on your mom's down there to get the hokey pokey if you want. Yeah. That's what he said. And I, and, and, and I said, well, I'm going to put my trust in the Lord. And he ain't say nothing else to me about his sister. <laughs> and mental health services than white churches. Yeah, they, they, they ain't nothing but coons, man. These, the, these heads is nothing but coons, man. Oh, let me show you this other one. Let me show you this other article, too, real quick. I'm going to get some scriptures. Salaki, but I just wanted to, this, this, this and look and look at this shit. This the finger of God right here, painting. This the finger of God painting right here. This right here, robots are uh, credible preachers. Robots are so you gonna have in the Christian church coming up soon. You gonna have robot um preachers. Robots are credible preachers. Get less respect and donation. Why? Why is respect and donations important because the church ain't nothing but a hustle the church ain't nothing but a hustle man these people are nothing but coons man they ain't nothing but coons man let's get some scriptures and then we gonna look up some things real quick psalms chapter 19 and verse six his going forth is from the end of the heavens uh, it from the end of heaven and his circuit unto the ends of the earth. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Watch this. The law is done away with. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure enlightening enlightening the eyes the fear of the lord is clean enduring forever the judgments of the lord are true and righteous altogether but they throwing the laws away and so you had a video recently where some 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 coon and they all they all seem to be having beers now all of all of, all of a sudden, all of the church church guys got beards. Even vocab done grew a beard and all of that. Trying to be like the Israelites, trying to be like the true men of the Lord. Now let's do something real quick. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. So lock it. Give me a second. Hey, heads is heads is ridiculous, man. They ain't nothing but house nigga coons, man. Spiritual coons. That's all Christians, um, black Christians are. Upholding white supremacy. Jesus. Watch this. Let's do a test real quick. Jesus. Go to images. Jesus. 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 Oh, well, we know he ain't, we know he's not black. Jesus. Let's type in Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. They ain't nothing but coons, man. They ain't nothing but coons. We teaching the scriptures. They ain't got nothing to say to nobody else. Um, Israelites is they whole motherfucking focus. They ain't shit, man. They ain't shit. Christians ain't shit, man. They ain't nothing but coons, man. They ain't nothing but coons, man. Coon watch. How to spot a damn coon. He probably gonna be coming in the, in the, in the name of a Christian. Christianity. Fucking coons. Coon watch, man. Coon watch.
God be easy, cause they take you see it. They take your video down. They gonna block you. Why? Because they are part of the system. Black Christians are part of this system, man. They are part of this system. Whether they want to admit it or not, they are part of this system. And this system is based on white supremacy. Christianity is based on white supremacy. Period. Isaiah 8 and 16. Bind up the testimony. Seal the law among the disciples. So anybody that's coming to you telling you that the law is done away with, they are not a man of the Lord. Oh, you, all you need is faith and love and believe in Jesus Christ. And I will wait upon the Lord that hide of his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which dwell in Mount Zion. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them, that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep, and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their power for the living, for the living to the dead, to the law, and to the testimony, if they speak not according, look, let's, let's read this one again slow, to the law that they say is done away with, to the testimony of Yahweh Shai, who said, I have not come to, uh, matter of fact, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at right here? Matthew 5 and 17. This is Yahweh Shai's words right here, who they call Jesus Christ. Think not, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy the but to fulfill, for verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. All is not fulfilled written in the scriptures. Yeah, I wish I ain't come back yet. He ain't come back to, 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 um, to, to judge this place. So how's the Lord done away with? And in the kingdom, they say the Lord's done away with, but in the kingdom, the Lord said he gonna write the laws in our heart, in our inward parts. So why would the Lord be done away with? How could the Lord be done away with? 10, Hebrews 8 and 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. So they say that we in the new covenant. This is speaking about the new covenant right now. Salakia, Salakia about that Israel had to had a phone call I had to attend to. But um yeah, so so what where I was at. So but um they say that the law is done away with, but which makes no sense. Because why would the Lord, the second covenant that they claiming we in under now, in the second covenant it says that for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. I will put my laws into their mind. So you mean to tell me that we started out with, look, listen, listen to, the, to their logic. We started out with the law, statutes, and commandments in the beginning. So now all of a sudden when we got punished and this and this and that, they done threw the laws away. We could do whatever we want to. But then in the end, the law going to come back and he going to put the laws back into our inward parts in our mind. No, the law has never been done away with. No, you can't be saved by the law, but the law was never done away with. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be unto them a I will be to them a power, and they shall be my people. Yeah. They go one older. Oh, you can eat the swan. You can eat the swan. Okay, let's not even go to Leviticus. Let's go right here. Let's show you what what you risk by eating swine. Let's get it. Isaiah chapter 66 and 15. 
66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Everybody is going to be saved in the Christian doctrine. All you got to do is believe on Jesus Christ. But you can believe on Jesus Christ and be eating swine. Let's see, or pork. Let's see what, 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 what 17 say. They that sanctified themselves and purified themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, eating swine's flesh, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. Huh? The law is done away with. Let's see what Romans say. The law is done away with. Let's see what Romans 3 and 31 say. The law is done away with. Do we then make void the law through faith? That's what they tell you. Well, we have faith in, Je in Jesus. Why, boy, Jesus going to save me? So we got faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Yahweh forbid. Yea, we establish the law. Yeah. But nobody is justified by the law. But you got to keep the law because how can you know if you calling yourself a sinner, how can you know when you sin it? What is sin? How can you know when you sin it? Sin is transgression of the law. So if you are if you are going against the law, you are sinning. So how can they tell you that the law is done away with? John 1 and 3 and 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressive also the law for sin is transgression of the law yeah man they 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 annoying man they are annoying they ain't nothing but coons man they ain't nothing but house nigga coons man and yeah you gotta be easy because you go against them and they take your channel down they block they block you from going and because they are a piece they are a piece on a chessboard that wicked ass Edomites, the rulers, the wicked ass rulers of this society is using to come against the truth. That's what they're doing. Proverbs 18 and 19. 17. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Yeah. <laughs> my son, attend to my words, incline thy ear unto my sayings. That the law is not done away with, man. <laughs> the law is not done away with, man. The law is not done away with. Nothing has changed. The law has not changed. Let's get that one. The law has not changed. Christianity, the Christian, the Christian doctrine has changed the Bible. That's what happened. Malachi chapter 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinances. The Lord has done away with. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Because they don't, Christianity telling you ain't got to. Return unto me and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But ye said, wherein shall we return? Yeah, we got faith. I got faith in white boy Jesus. That's all I need, faith in white boy Jesus. <laughs> Fucking coons, man. Y'all don't see it, man. Slavery. We got we 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 gotta get out of here. We gotta escape. House that's Phil nigga. House nigga. What the house nigga say? We ain't gotta escape. Massa treats us real good. We's comfortable here. We goes out there and be trying to be free and escape. We's gonna get ourselves hurt. 
<laughs> ain't nothing but coons, man. They ain't nothing but coons, man. Nothing but coons. Nothing but coons. Second Peter chapter 1 and 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. I, the, the words, the, the prophecy that we have is more sure. We know when the Lord come back that everybody is not going to be saved. Everybody, even the nation of Israel, everybody is not going to be saved. We understand them people over there in Jerusalem are not the people of the, of, of the Bible because they don't fit the prophecies. We, all, we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well to take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your hearts. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not of old time by the will of man, but holy men. Of the most high spake as they were moved by the Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, everything in the scriptures is written aforetime for our learning, man. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, man. The scriptures clearly say that we supposed to do the law. We supposed to keep and do the laws forever. But gross darkness to people, man. Gross darkness to people. And Christianity is darkness, man. Christianity is darkness. Christianity is telling you to believe and pray to the white man. You could do, eat whatever you want to. And don't listen to them, them, to them mean old black Hebrew Israelites out there on the corners. Isaiah 60 and 1. 60 and 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness to people. You can't say that Christianity has woken up anybody. Hey, wait, what, 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 what understanding has Christianity gave the, the, the um, people? God, John 3, 16, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Everybody, neither Jew nor Greek. Oh, Israel all went off. They all, all of the, everybody in the nation of Israel didn't believe, even though the scriptures say opposite. And the Bible could not be here if everybody in Israel didn't believe in Yahweh Shai, didn't believe in the law, statutes, commandments. How could the scriptures be here? How could they? That was written by Israelites. It wasn't written by no heathens, nobody else. Israelites. So the Bible in itself is proof that all Israel didn't turn their back on the Messiah. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Yeah. His glory shall be seen upon thee. And they hate it. And that's why they got the Christian, the Christian niggas out here. <laughs> That's all they is, man. Ah, oh, they make me sick, man. They make me sick, man. They make me sick. Jeremiah chapter 8 and 4. Moreover, thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, shall they fall and not rise? Shall he turn away and not return? Yes, they saying, no, we ain't got to return. We don't got to return. We don't got to return to what? To the Lord's statutes and commandments. We got to return, all of us out here teaching now, we got to return to the Christian doctrine and praying the white boy Jesus. Why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden backward by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast deceit. They refuse to return. <laughs> they refuse to return. Seven, yea, the stalk in heaven know of her appointed times, and the turtle and the and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord, because the law is done away with. Sin is transgression of the law. So if you throwing the law out, you stuck in sin because you don't you ain't even trying to acknowledge what you should or shouldn't be doing. 
How do we say we are wise? Listen to this. Eight. How do we say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly is vain. May he it. The pen of scribes is in vain. <laughs> the wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken low. They have rejected the word of the Lord and what wisdom is in them. Yeah, they rejected the word of the Lord. 11 for they have healed they they have for they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace were they ashamed when they had committed abominations nay they were not at all ashamed neither could they blush therefore shall they fall among them that fall in the time of their visitation they shall be cast cast down saith the lord yeah the lord gonna do some things to this and they not telling you what they are not telling you look this is them this is them 15 we look for peace but no good came and for a time of health and behold trouble this is what's coming man this is what's coming this is what's coming to israel and we trying to warn y'all but they out here, their main focus is us. Their main focus is us. Their main focus is us. Mark chapter six, 7 and 6. He answered and said unto them, this is Yahweh Shai, because it can't be Jesus, because the letter J wasn't invented till 1524. So that could not be the correct name. And if somebody called you out your name or whatever, are you going to respond? They calling you for help and they can't even get your name right? Well, half Elias, Isaiah Elias says, prophesy to you of you hypocrites, of you hypocrites, as it is written, the people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And the heart is mine. Go back to mine. Uh, lahab, lahab, lahab. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandments of the Most High. For what? For laying aside the commandments of the Most High. Ye hold to the tradition of men. Ye hold to the tradition of men, Christianity, as the washing of pots and cups and many other such, many other such like things ye do. Yeah, man. Uh, and he said unto them, full well ye reject the commandments of the Most High. That's what they telling you. And this is Yahweh Shai, who they, who they stupidly called Jesus. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandments of the Most High, that ye may keep your own tradition. Well, that sound like Christianity. Don't that sound like Christianity? We're going to get a couple more, two more, and we're going to close it out, man. Yeah, I probably don't want too long as it is, but I don't care, man. They get, may make me sick, man. <laughs> they make me sick, man. They make me sick. Luke 10 and 23. Luke 10, 10 and 23. Let's see. 28 minutes. All right. We almost wrapping it up. And he turned him, him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desi desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Listen what Yahweh Shai said. Listen to what white boy Jesus said. Who y'all call Jesus. Listen to what he said, 26. He said unto him, what is written in your law? What is written in your law? How readest thou? And he answered, said, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy power with all thy heart. That's what they say. All you got to do is love Jesus with all your heart. 
and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and with all thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live. You got to do the law, man. You got to do the law. The law is not done away with, man. The law is not done away with. And that's they, they, they shaming us because we believe in trying to keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. We know we not perfect. We know we not going to get them all right. But you got to try. You got to have faith and works, man. You got to be a doer of the word, not just a hearer of the word. Isaiah 1 and 10. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law. Give ear unto the law. Give ear unto the law of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. Where they say we at right now? Where, where does the scripture say we at? Let's get it. Let's get this one. Then we go back. Let's get this one. Where is it? Boom. Here and here. Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now we get back over here. Isaiah 1 and 10. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our power, ye people of Gomorrah. Huh? <laughs> Let's go down. Let's go. 18. Come now, let and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins... Sin is transgression of the law. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. How is the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water. Thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves, 501c3 agreement, and companions of thieves, everyone love of gifts, and follow after rewards, they judge not the fatherless, neither doth they cause doth the cause of the widow come unto them. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, I will ease my I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of my enemies. Everyone that's going against the law, statutes, and commandments, man. 26. I will restore thy judges as it as it first. So if a judge you judging, how are you gonna judge somebody? You're gonna judge them with the law. You gonna judge him with the law, and thy counselors as as at the beginning, as at the beginning, when the law was given, the book of Leviticus, the book of Deuteronomy. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. How's all of this done? And look, twenty eight, and the destruction of the transgressors. And of the sinners, sin is transgression of the law, shall be together. And they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. One more. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. 19. How is the law is done away with? But clearly right here. Look. Now, Exodus 19 and 5. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, which the Lord's statutes commandments is the covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure 
unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. Listen to this point. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. How can you do that if you throwing the Lord's statutes and commandments away, man? So they saying that this is what Christianity telling you. In the beginning, the Lord's statutes and commandments was given to Israel. Israel transgressed the Lord's statutes and commandments. So the Lord did away with the Lord's statutes and commandments. We are in the second covenant where in the second covenant, you're supposed to be keeping the Lord's statutes and commandments perfectly because the Lord going to write them in your heart. In the kingdom, we're going to be a kingdom of priests, a priest and a holy nation. That means we're going to know the, the book back and forth. It's going to be ingrained in us. So how do they get in, in the middle here that you don't have to keep the law, statutes, and commandments? And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Everybody going to be saved. No, the Lord not saying all nations going to be a kingdom of priests in the kingdom. No. We're going to be in kingdom of priests because we're going to have to teach the other nations the law, statutes, and commandments. You get that in Isaiah, the second chapter. But again, man, Christians, black Christians is nothing but sellouts, coons, and Uncle Toms. Period, man. Sellout is the new keeping it real. So, yeah, so with that one, we're going to close out all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rukahakwadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To a hopeful to the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Yeah, selling out. Ain't nothing but a bunch of sellout ass coons, man. Ain't nothing but a bunch of sellout ass damn coons, man. Shalom, Israel.